good morning students uh, myself sushmita assistant professor ec department rcet so in this session we will be learning about smart antennas so what is smart antenna on completing this video you will be able to explain what is smart antenna explaining functioning of a smart antenna also you will be able to explain what are the different types of antenna that we are using so these are the agenda that we are going to cover in this session first thing is history and then introduction what is smart antenna functioning of smart antenna types of smart antenna digital beam forming doa estimation advantage application and conclusion and also references so first let me give you a little bit about the history of smart antenna so smart antenna was initially developed for military communication as well as for intelligence gathering new opportunities were created for the smart antenna in the year 1990 by satellite broadcasting industry so this particular antenna is nothing but it is an electrical device which converts the electrical power into the electromagnetic waves smart antenna will be having a antenna array that will be changing the array pattern in response to the signal environment to improve the performance of a communication channel so when an antenna is not smart it is not it is the digital signal processing so along with the antennas which makes the systems that works in a smarter way so now let's see an example a smart antenna system combines an antenna array with the digital signal with a digital signal processing that has the capability to transmit and receive in an adaptive manner so you can see there is a person which when it is speak uh, spoken by the dispatch speaker and there will be some other noise which is also spoken by an unwanted speaker so both of the uh, noise will be or the both of the signals will be received by the receiver end so what is the difference between regular antenna and smart antenna regular antenna is nothing but it will be omnidirectional what is omnidirection omnidirectional is nothing but a antenna which generates beam in all possible direction is called as omnidirectional so this particular di directional pattern is orthogonal in plane and they are non directional pattern in given plane so coming to smart antenna smart antenna they it will be utilizing the adaptive dsp based technique as well as the digital so next one is co channel interface so co channel interface is one of the common term which is happening in the transmission medium so co channel interference is nothing but it is an cross talk that we can say when two different radio transmitter uses the same particular frequency then there occurs an cross talk that is called as co channel interference so co channel interference arises in cellular mobile networks owing to this phenomenon of frequency reuse so this is called as co channel interference so next one is functioning of smart antenna functioning of smart antenna is still far away from well being defined and there are many subjects that we can go for learning through this so coming to the technical aspects it will be depending upon the number of elements that is being fed with the signals which are adaptively processed by space or time filtering so next one is we are uh, let's see about the functioning of smart antenna so first and foremost point that is being Uh, functioning of smart antenna is that it will be having increased number of subscriber that is it will be having higher system capacity so that is the most important point second thing is higher data transmission so it will be having improved data transmission rate that is the second point third thing is it will be having better spectral efficiency and fourth one is extended range that is we can go for using it in an wide range of frequency so that more number of users can also be occupied within that range next thing is processing of multipath propagated signal and finally flexibility so whenever we need we can go for changing the channel transfer so these are few additional points that provides or adds value to the smart antenna so next one is type of smart antenna there are three types of smart antennas they are adaptive array antenna and then switched beam array 
So first one is adaptive array antenna. What is adaptive array antenna? So this adaptive array antenna plays a major role in the core system where it is being used in future generation mobile networks. So you can see in the diagram the adaptive array antenna it will be allowing the antenna to steer the beam to any direction in which we need and it also simultaneously null the interfering signal so that unwanted signals will be made to be zero that is nulling of interfering signal whereas the beam can be made in any desired direction so next thing is this antenna can track or locate signal so this is the architecture of ad, um, adaptive antenna that is you can see we will be having a uh, transmitter side as well as uh, receiver side in between we will be having bpf analog to digital coming uh, changer and then ddc that is a digital down converter digital baseband com combiner and then discrete time complex baseband array output <coughs> also weight adjustment algorithm so next one is switched beam array antennas so switched beam array antenna is well, that that has several availability fixed beam patterns so in this a decision will be made in which the beam has to assess at any point of time so overall goal is nothing but in order to increase the gain according to the location of the user so what is block antenna block diagram of uh, this is given here you can see uh, phase switching network and then similarly we'll be having rf switch detector and then control now let's see few advantages of smart antenna it will be reducing the co-channel interference as we saw in the previous slide it will be just nullifying the unwanted beams that are being generated so that is reduction in co-channel interference next one is a range improvement as we saw that it is used in a longer range we can say that range is improved when range is improved automatically the capacity will also be increased where they can transmit more number of data and at the same time reduction in transmitted power and reduction in handoff or other two advantages of smart antenna so coming to applications of smart antenna we can say that uh, mobile communications cellular and wireless network satellite communication wireless sensor network military electronic warfare these are few applications of smart antennas so coming to the future scope we can say that in mobile handsets to achieve much better performance this particular smart antenna use whereas 4g system with 1 gigabits per data and as well as frequency 20 to 100 megahertz and also they are mainly used for deducting malignant so coming to the conclusion smart antennas are the intelligent antennas where we can go for using it for efficiency of wireless transmission and similarly promising technology to resolve the traffic capacity and also efficient utilization of the scarce resource of today's wireless communication. So these are few references where I have taken for this particular talk. So hope you all understood and had a useful session. If you have any doubts, do message in the comments. Thank you.